If I told you that you just won the lottery, what would you do? If you're like me, you jump up and down and scream. And after you were done freaking out and jumping in the air, you'd land on your feet, right? But why would you land back on the ground instead of just floating off into space? It's because of a little something we call gravity. Gravity is what pulls everything toward the ground, including you. Without the force of gravity, there would be no life on Earth. Air, water, animals, everything would fly off into space. There'd be no you, no me, no french fries, nada. Think of gravity like the invisible superglue that holds our massive world together. You can't see it, but it's always there. An English scientist named Isaac Newton was the first person to seriously study gravity over 300 years ago. There's a famous story about him that you might have heard. Supposedly, Sir Isaac was hanging out underneath an apple tree thinking, probably partly napping, when an apple fell from the tree and conked him on the head. That's when Sir Isaac had an aha moment. Why did the apple fall down to the ground and not up or sideways? He realized that a special kind of force, which we now know as gravity, was acting on all of the objects on Earth pulling them toward it. Once the apple became too heavy for its stem to hold it anymore, the gravitational pull of Earth brought the apple down onto Newton's noggin. Newton also realized it doesn't matter how heavy an object is either, whether you're holding an apple or a bowling ball or a feather. If you let go of it, that sucker's going down. We're gonna make a whole video about this later. Basically, he determined that what goes up must come down. Sir Isaac was a pretty smart dude.